Just hours ago, local businesses teamed up in Columbus in an effort to restore hope to young girls who come from broken homes. News 3's Jessalyn Adams was there. Only on 3, Jessalyn tells us more behind the effort being called Care for Tears. Jessalyn. Bridges Girls Home houses young women ages 13 to 18 who otherwise would have nowhere else to stay. Today, representatives hosted the third annual Care for Tears initiative in an effort to collect items to help care for these girls. Today, at the Walmart on Victory Drive, volunteers worked to collect donated toiletries and feminine products. One representative, Angelia Walton, says this year was one of the biggest turnouts. She says they left with three containers full of basic care items, as well as monetary donations. Walton also says this is less about the money, but more about the supplies needed to house young women. Oftentimes, especially with females, it's always a need for just basic supplies such as feminine hygiene products, proper hair care products. We don't always use the same things and just being here at Walmart, having a variety of people that come here has really supported us. We're more interested in trying to provide what they need. It's easier to give them exactly what they need than to work for the money to trickle down to get them what they need. A local radio station was on hand providing entertainment during the effort. We also learned workers at the Walmart on Victory Drive also contribute to the cause. Walmart manager Chris Cheryl Pugh says she loves this organization and the work they do to save women in the community. Jessalyn, thanks so much for that report. Switching gears now, it's time now to talk.